Hey, what's happening, guys? Welcome to Wavelength Radio, my YouTube channel. I'm John and 9AMI. And uh, today we're going to talk about something that I've been plagued with. Um, and others have too, also. Um, I run a lot of remote operations because all my amateur radio gear primarily is located here in Nevada. And in years past, I've had crummy internet providers. Um, you can't get really good internet out here. It's At best, I was getting 12 megabytes download, but most of the time it was a couple. <laughs> so, and I'm paying 85 bucks a month for that kind of service, but it was enough to do a lot of remoting. And I could remote from my Florida location um, and using all my Nevada stuff. So I had a lot of fun doing it, but got sick of paying the money for the crummy service, and I went with uh, Elon and Starlink. Great service, expensive service. However, it does work well. I can stream anything HD. It's uh, kind of a neat technology. Uh, but the one thing that you can't do is remote. It's because of the network setup that they have on their system that doesn't allow you to call in and back and forth. You can't port forward without getting too technical because I don't want to be too techy on this because I want people to understand that have this system that you can remote. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. I've had a lot of trial and tribulations uh, dealing with this and finally found a service that is free to you. Ham should like that. And um, we'll go through it, make it as simple as possible for you guys to do. You install it on your main remote computer. Then you install the program on all the computers that you will be using, including your cell phone. I have an Android phone, um, S21 Samsung, that I use for uh, remotehams.com software, RC4. And I also use Win4 iCom for my iCom stuff. I also have an Anon that uh, remote with. So multitude of radios. Shouldn't matter on the radio as long as you got the protocol that will do it. Uh, but haven't been able to remote until just on the local network until I figured this out. And it's essentially a VPN service. But there's a trick or two to it uh, that I found out kind of the hard way. And uh, I'll show you how to get that, and it's, uh, it'll cost you nothing except a little bit of your time and energy, and uh, you might learn a little something in, in, in the meantime. So let's get to it, and uh, I'll show you how it works. All right, guys, here we go. So I'm going to bring this screen up bigger so you can see it. You need to see my mug anyways. And we're going to go to tail scale, T-A-I-L, scale. So, if you want to read through the nomenclature, it kind of explains how things work, blah, blah, blah. It's available for all platforms, okay? And I do not work for these people, <laughs> so um, I found this out by digging deep, okay? So, you want to go to Use Tail Scale, and you're also going to want to go to Download. So, on the Use side, it's going to ask you to sign up. It'll send you an email to, to verify who you are, that whole situation. All right. Then you're going to go to download and you're going to download the program for whatever application you're going to. Now, you're going to download the program first on your remote computer, meaning your ham radio computer that's hooked up to the radio that you use for your remote. All right. And you're going to Sign up with the same login that you've signed up for initially. So now that's on your home computer, your, I should say, your remote computer, your ham computer. So all the other setups you want, um, if you want it on a cell phone, you need to go log in and download it on your cell phone, whether it's iOS, Android, whatever, and use the same login that you use to sign up and install that's it, that that program, TailScale, all right? Your laptop, 
your home computer, your remote computer, your work computer, whatever you want. All right, you can install this and set them up. So the next thing you're going to have to do, RC4, which is remote hams, and I'm also going to go through and explain how to use uh, Win for Icom. Those are the two that I use. It's, it should be the same for everything that you're using. All right. Okay, so you downloaded it on your radio computer. Now you need to go to all your other computers that you use, laptop, desktop, cell phone, and download the tail scale program onto it and sign up, log in through TailScale. You'll see the little icon. <clears throat> you log in with the same credentials you logged in with on your first time, all right? So what that's going to do is it's going to authenticate that certain computer cell phone and put it on your, your TailScale VPN, all right? Simple as that. So let me show you, I'm going to access my, uh, don't even worry about the AnyDesk because I have multiple computers, okay? Okay, so I'm going to access this. There's my desktop computer. Now. This is one of the computers that I use. You will see there's the little tail scale icon. I right click on the icon. All right, this is already installed. All we're interested in is going to the network device area. Okay. So we're going to go to network devices and slide over and go to my devices. You will see that there's a laptop that's logged in and then radio station. That's what I call my my remote setup. And at first you will not see a dot next to what this is. So whatever you want to link to, whether it's Susie's remote, John's remote, whatever, you need to click on the one that you named. You want the little dot. The little dot means you're linked to your station. So I click on that. That's all. I'm going to bring up, um, let's see, I will bring up RC Forb, or however you say it, client. It'll come up in a second. Hopefully it's on this uh, screen. Maybe it's not. I will switch over if I need to. Uh, here it comes. I'm going to show you there's a little trick on this one. Once you set it up, you're good to go. All right, of course, it's on the other screen. Okay, so my regular remote is called Gold and Silver Radio, but what you're going to have to do, you still, you will not be able to access that, but leave that alone if you have your own remote set up already, all right, which I'm sure you do because that's why you're here, but you're not able, <coughs> able to link in. You're going to get this. <coughs> that's my IP address that it's trying to access through Starlink. You'll never get in. And you're going to get errors like this if you don't use this VPN or a similar service. Okay, we're waiting, 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 blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada. Still waiting. Still nothing. And it's an error should pop up saying, oh, no answer at the house. <laughs> Nobody's answering. Well, come on. Well, it's just there it is. That's the error people would get. Okay? So, what you have to do, this is the one that I'm ready to connect to. Okay? You're going to have to do add remote. Bring it up. Name it whatever the heck you want. All right? whichever version you're using on the radio side, whichever server, what you need to do is take the IP address that TailScale is giving you for the remote computer. 
So we'll go back here. We can go right here, right here, and we go to a radio station. All right. So I go here. You'll get a pop up. It's just a, so I know radio station is 198.148.88. All right. 198.148.88. Write it down. And for those hackers out there, I will be changing all this. You write it down, you input it into the host IP. I'm using 09. I put it in there. Name it what you want, which is what I've done right here. All right, hang on one second. Let me start this up. Okay. We're going to let it do its thing. Chiming in to my ICOM 7600. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Okay, it's ready. Drop that down. So, I already did that add remote. It's still going to link into this one, but it's just using a cloud-based VPN. And here we go. Boom. Instantly, here we go. And we're all good to go. Get rid of that. And there you go, guys. That's how you do the remote hams RC4. All right, so I'm going to shut this down. Everything is the same. All right. Everything's going to be the same for... Um, Win for ICOM. Let me dump this. Okay, it already dumped. Okay. Uh, let me make sure. Yes. Okay, so let me start. Let me close. Uh, where are we here? Bada boom, bada bing. We need to dump that. Yes, okay. So, Win for ICOM. You need to go to your Win for ICOM server. And let me see if I can find the darn thing. There it is. VA2FSQ server. All right. And you will see you input that same IP address. The same IP address goes in up there. Don't jack with anything else. All right. Nothing else is messed with. Server started. Okay. So now we're back on my remote computer that I want to access the radio station. Again, you're going to look at this. Network devices, my devices, I'm still hooked up. It will stay hooked up that way until you click on something else. If you're going to use the laptop, my cell phone isn't logged in yet, so I can't use my cell phone. But anyways, so now I'm going to open up Win for Icon. Now, of course, we have the sound client and the, the regular program. So open up the sound client. And open up the other program, and I bet you they're on the other. There we go. Okay. Ya -da -da. We're waiting on it. Now, if you notice, there's the IP address. All right. That logged in, no problem. And let me show you this settings. You just input the same. Well, where's my settings? My settings is fair. Anyways, let me go back here. There they are. Okay, they just came up on the screen. So you'll notice that there's that tail scale IP address that it gave me. All right. No problem. Exit. And I can start this too. And I have audio on this remote computer. It's the same for any of these remote programs, no matter what you're using. You just need to put the IP address that Tailscale gives you. Simple as that. If you use the IP address of Starlink, you will never get a connection. Okay? That's all you got to remember. And the thing that I was doing wrong was not clicking in. I wasn't 
clicking the network device that I needed to connect to. So this, this computer is called Candid Sky Big Dog, all right? And I'm connecting to the radio station, so it gives me a clear path. I don't have to put in any kind of VPN numbers or anything like that. It's straight on through, no problem, anything. So I'll, I will list the process of this in text on the video for you guys, all right? Because I know this is maybe a little much for some, okay? Let me drop this down, and um, I'll list everything out so you know step by step. And of course, you when you read the the initial tail scale page, you just they're going to be the same instructions for that. You you authenticate and or register each of your um, what they call clients, um, which means whether it's your uh, tablet, your laptop whatever, and it, it'll be listed up there, okay? So that's kind of the easiest way I can explain this to you. Um, you can put comments down below. If I can help you out, I'll help you out uh, with the, in the comments. And if I need to make up a, a secondary video to help you through this, I'll definitely do that. So tailscale.com, uh, download it. Download and install it. I'm, I've got my list here. Click on login from the icon that's on your system. This is your origination, your radio station computer, your remote computer, which once you log in, the first time it will authenticate the first computer, which is your radio station. You do the exact same thing on everything else. Tablet, laptop, other computer, uh, iOS, Raspberry Pi, the whole thing, you can, you can do this, all right? You sign up with your email address, we already discussed that, and you do it for each, each one, all right? So then you go through the process that I showed you to connect to your other setup. And the only difference is that you're not gonna find on the tail scale for information on what to do is what I showed you how to take your IP address that tail scale gives you on your remote computer and put it into the server, the RCB, RC Ford, uh, remote hams, you input that in there, you make it up how you do it, add a new, add a new remote, and you do the, uh, uh, the same thing with win for ICOM, win for Yesu, win for whatever you have, and there's other ones out there, other kind of remote setups, it'll work essentially the same. But if you do not put that IP address that Tailscale gives you, you'll never make the connection. It's doing everything for you. You just got to point it towards that right direction, and that's it. So I hope this helps you guys out. Um, and uh, like I said, like, share, subscribe down below. I need the people. And any kind of questions, I'll answer them as best I can and give you some help. So for now, this is John N9AMI at Wavelength Radio. We'll catch you guys again. Hope you enjoyed it.